How to download NVIDIA drivers without GeForce experience. Want to download drivers for your NVIDIA GeForce GPU without installing NVIDIA's GeForce experience application. NVIDIA doesn't make them easy to find, but you can do it. Here's how to avoid GeForce experience on Windows. We're not bashing GeForce experience here. It has some neat features like the ability to automatically optimize graphics settings for your PC games and record your gameplay. It also can automatically search for and install driver updates. You'll have to find and install updates manually if you skip the GeForce Experience application. But GeForce Experience is also a heavier application that requires you sign in with an account. You even have to sign in with an account just to get driver updates. If you'd like to install your drivers the classic way, just the drivers themselves and the NVIDIA control panel tool, you can. You can download the drivers from NVIDIA's website. Either head to the newer GeForce Drivers page and use the Manual Driver Search section or use the classic NVIDIA Driver Download page. Whichever page you use, you'll have to know the model of your graphics card, whether you're using a 32-bit or 64-bit version of Windows, and which type of driver you want. Not sure which GPU you have or what type of Windows operating system you have. Scroll down for instructions on how to find out. The Game Ready Driver, GRD, features optimizations for the latest games and is intended for gamers. While the Studio Driver, SD, prioritizes stability and is intended for creative professionals. Use the fields to select your drivers and click Search. When you're done, click the Download button to get the drivers. Download the driver's X file and double-click it to install like any other application. Let the installer extract its files and begin installation. After the installer extracts its files and starts, you will be prompted to choose the kind of installation you want. By default, it will try to install the NVIDIA Graphics Driver and GeForce Experience software to check which NVIDIA GPU you have on your Windows 10 PC. Open the Task Manager. You can do so by pressing Ctrl plus Shift plus S or by right-clicking the taskbar and selecting Task Manager. Click the Performance tab at the top of the Task Manager window. If necessary, click More Details at the bottom of the Task Manager to expand the Task Manager and view the tabs. Select the GPU entry in the sidebar here. Look for the name of your GPU near the upper right corner of the Task Manager window. If you have multiple GPUs in your system, click each and examine their names. If you have a gaming laptop, there's a good chance you have both NVIDIA graphics and Intel graphics. Look for the name of the NVIDIA GPU. To check whether you're using a 32-bit or 64-bit version of Windows, head to Settings Greater Than System Greater Than About. You can open the Settings window from the Start menu or by pressing Windows plus I. Look for the Device Specifications section on this screen. To the right of System Type, you'll see whether you're using a 64-bit operating system or a 32-bit operating system. You're now responsible for updating your own NVIDIA drivers. They won't automatically check for updates or download and install new versions of your GPU drivers for you. That feature requires the NVIDIA GeForce Experience software. By the way, if you already have the NVIDIA GeForce Experience software installed, you can uninstall it while leaving your drivers installed. Just head to Control Panel Greater than Uninstall a program. Search for NVIDIA and uninstall the NVIDIA GeForce Experience application. Leave the other NVIDIA driver entries installed. If you don't play PC gamers, you can always just get your drivers via Windows Update. Don't install anything from NVIDIA and Windows will automatically install drivers for your GPU. However, the drivers won't be the most up-to-date for the latest PC games and you don't get utilities like the NVIDIA Control Panel. Having the latest drivers is important for gamers, but the average PC user can get by with the drivers from Windows Update. Text Source, HowToGeek.com